Is the Wi-Fi slow on your iPhone? Even your iPhone's Wi-Fi is slower than Android's. I know that when the Wi-Fi is slow on an iPhone, people often feel frustrated and impatient as pages take longer to load. There's anxiety and stress if relying on a connection for work. Don't worry, I also had the same issue after the iOS 18 update on the iPhone 15 Pro. In this video, I'll show you what action I have taken to fix the issues and some extra solutions that will work for you. So, watch and follow my solutions in order wise on your device. Helps to boost speed from KBPS to MBPS or gigabytes if you have a good bandwidth plan. Let's start. First of all, open the settings app on your iPhone. I click on the Wi-Fi and then tap on the connected Wi-Fi network to ensure your iPhone is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Now scroll the screen and ensure that the low data mode is disabled because if it is enabled, it will slow down the Wi-Fi speed. Now scroll through the screen again to find the DNS settings. Tapping on configure DNS, over here, tap on manual to enter our desired server address and delete available DNS servers to add new IP address. So now, tap on Add Server and enter 8.8.8.8. On the bottom, enter 8.8.4.4. These are the Google Public DNS servers. Configure your network settings to use the IP addresses as your DNS servers. Fine, now click on the Save button to make store changes. Next. What to do? Return to the screen and open the control panel from the top right corner. Click on the airplane icon to turn on the flight mode. After that, wait for few seconds and then turn it off. Now open the Safari browser and browser the fast.com website to check your device's Wi-Fi speed. Wait till the Wi-Fi speed data outcome and we can see that the speed has been increased. If you don't feel Wi-Fi speed boosted, then you have to go with next workaround. Check that your iPhone battery setting low power mode is not toggle green. So go to settings, scroll to the battery, and check the low power mode toggle. If you turn it on, the yellow battery icon appears on the status bar. It does work to save power, so it restricts Wi-Fi speed and much more. Please turn the low power mode toggle off, it means white. Some users get tricks to fix slow Wi-Fi issues, that is, turn off the private Wi-Fi address in the connected Wi-Fi setting and restart the router. So they got Wi-Fi speed boost. Sometimes iCloud private relay causes that problem since your network traffic is being technically routed through Apple servers. Private relay, which is Apple's VPN kind of. If you have third-party VPN installed, please turn it off by go to Settings app. Tap on General, next scroll to VPN and Device Management. Click on VPN. Over here, I have Surfshark. In your case, it may be different. Now tap on the eye icon next to VPN name. Over here, disable Connect On Demand. This may help to boost your iPhone internet speed. Sometimes, low storage space makes Wi-Fi slow and the device too hot. So please make free space up to 2 GB and then use your phone. This will work like a charm. Another solution to increase Wi-Fi speed is reset network settings your iPhone. Yes, you guys, this trick helped me on my iPhone. Keep in mind that delete all network settings, returning them to factory defaults. Before proceeding, make sure to have your Wi-Fi password handy in case your device forgets it and needs to be re-entered to connect. To do so, open the Settings app and tap on General. Next, scroll the screen to transfer or reset your iPhone. On this screen, go with Reset and click on Reset Network Settings. Enter your iPhone passcode and then follow the on-screen instructions. I hope this found helpful to you. Ladies and gentlemen, if none of the solutions worked for you. Next solution is, please forget and reconnect to the Wi-Fi network. To do so, go to Settings, tapping on Wi-Fi. Now tap on the Info button and click on Forget the Network, then Reconnect. This can sometimes resolve connectivity issues. Still, Wi-Fi speed is not increasing, then you should check for interference. Make sure to place your router in an open area, away from other electronics that may cause interference. Also, avoid connecting too many devices to the network. 
Another trick is to update the iPhone software and router firmware. Please ensure to keep your iPhone and router firmware up to date. If your iPhone runs with beta iOS, the Wi-Fi may be slow, so please uninstall it and install the public iOS software update to check what is the latest version of iOS. Open the Safari browser and search for iOS version history on Wikipedia. Once you've clicked on the Wikipedia link, scroll down the page to find a different color and the green color denotes the current iOS version. On the box, you can find pastel green for the public iOS version and Grecian blue for the beta iOS version. Updates can provide performance enhancements and address any potential issues. You should use a 5 GHz Wi-Fi band on your iPhone. If your router supports it, switch to the 5 GHz band instead of 2. 4 GHz for faster speeds and less interference. Contact your network providers for more details. For example, Xfinity, Comcast, Spectrum, Charter Communications, Cox Communications, Optimum, Altus USA, Mediacom, RCN, Suddenlink, Altus USA, WOW Internet, and Frontier Communications. The last resort is to restart your router and get closer to your Wi-Fi router for better coverage. Sometimes, simply rebooting your router can improve Wi-Fi performance. The final solution is to contact Apple support. Following my complete guide video, you can make a Genius Bar appointment. An Apple technician will diagnose the problem and suggest the cause of the slow Wi-Fi. So, friends, this is all about fixing slow Wi-Fi issues on any iPhone running the latest iOS 18. On my screen, you can also find solutions for Wi-Fi not working on an iPhone or Wi-Fi not working on a Mac computer. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more information about Apple products.